Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here, and if you know me, you will know that for years I have been saying that everyone, young, adult, and above, gets the treatment that all Sims should have. However, the earlier life stages feel as if they've just been like ignored and they don't ever really get attention. And I will hold my hands up and say, yes, high school years did quell some of that for teenagers. However, when I was doing like my early access and I was going through the gameplay and things like that and just discovering the pack, I realized that there was personally a lot of missed features that I really, really would have liked to see and also just things that like didn't completely hit the mark for me in the gameplay element of high school years. For example, like social groups. Social groups were one of my favorite things about The Sims 3 University, even though we only had three of them and I was kind of expecting them in high school years because it is pretty Americanized. You can't even tell me that it's not because sports are the only after school activity that actually get the attention from the get go and their sports are American football and cheerleading. If that isn't like American Eagle Stars and Stripes Spangled Banner, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying American things. I don't know what is. But this mod right here that I'm going to be going over in this video is by A Deep Indigo and it's called the Dynamic Teen Life Mod. Actually adds a lot of those things that I felt were missing and also tweaks a fair bit of stuff that was in high school years just to make your teens like feel more active, gives them more personality and makes them their own person with interests. And when it comes to a life simulation game, that's what you want. This is actually available for everyone now. It has had its public release. So I will leave the link to it down below. I did actually kind of struggle to find the link. And trust me, this is a mahoosive list of things that come in the game. So there's kind of fixes to the emotional side of things when it comes to teenagers. You have new journal entries, so if you had parenthood obviously you have the journaling. The mood swings also that came with parenthood have kind of had a couple of like nerfs to them, but in my opinion that makes them better because it doesn't result in emotional deaths. I will say although my teens get like mortified quite a lot in school, none of them have ever died from mortification, which I'm quite glad. I just imagine that mortification is just Mortimer Goth just like coming down as an angel like singing from the heavens like you have died. I just can't think of it as anything else. Mortimer Goth has ruined that for me. Also mental health. Sims can talk to others about their feelings and mental health. Seek help with the counsellor on the phone. Attend support groups. I know that a lot of people have been wanting to see mental health actually tackled within the game. This offers like seven more after school activities. So you have Adventure Club, which actually requires snowy escapes, so just keep that in mind. Arts and Craft Club, Mock Trial Team. This club focuses on persuasive arguments and research. This is like the club that is like perfect for lawyers. I remember doing a mock trial when I was in school. It was the scariest thing I've ever done. Performing Arts Club, STEM Club, Student Council, and Swim Team. Then you have a popularity system where your sims can be very popular, popular, not popular or unpopular, unpopular and very unpopular. I want to be popular. Now no longer sounds like a word to me though. This is based upon like how much money your sims have, their fame, their followers, all the things that you think like adds up to popularity within The Sims 4 are basically covered in this popularity system. Basically affects like all of your social interactions. So if you are on the more popular side, you kind of have an easier chance of like getting to know people. people will respond to you a little bit better. You'll get more invites to go out because people are like, oh, this person has a little like side hustle following. So if we invite them, they're gonna post on Simstagram and we're gonna go viral, which is yet to happen to me in my real life. Also, you have disadvantages if you're unpopular. Also romantic life. I will say I'm not like the biggest fan of like parents kind of dictating what their teens can and can't do when it comes to their romantic life. I feel as if everyone should be able to have like that choice as long as it is the responsible choice. But you can basically ask your parents if you are allowed to date. You have social groups. This is the one that I'm most excited about because this is the one that I really feel was lackluster in high school years. So you get jocks, floaters, cool llamas, artist collective, rebel rousers, and nerd brains. These basically all give you a little bit of a buff to certain 
skills. So for example, the floaters and the cool llamas get a small charisma and large charisma boost. They also have a rivalry system and Sims have specific rivals from the group when they join. Social life, so you can get more invitations. You also do not need the high school year's window. New activities, so your Sims can go off lot into a little rabbit hole for a college fair. Dating, debate club, experimenting with friends, group date, hanging at the mall, hookup, life skills class, prom, newspaper club, shop class. You have a gossip and rumor system. So you can do these about fellow classmates. Also gorgeous, gorgeous girls read the mod requirements and the pack requirements and the conflicts. Because I forgot to actually install Lupino's mood pack. If you already have this in your mods folder, feel free to just download this one, but make sure that you have it. I clearly am not a gorgeous, gorgeous girl. So I loaded up my one and only high school years family and the teenagers within this household. So we have Celeste, she's super into music and isn't really that fussed about like social media, doesn't really wanna be perceived by many people. And as soon as I loaded up this save with this mod installed, it came up with the opportunities. It started serving me the goods. So for Celeste, the Sim does not care about being popular. Popularity during the high school years equates to social status. Being popular can open up both admiration, jealousy, emulation, and annoyance from peers whilst opening up doors for more social opportunities and perks. There's like negatives and positives of like both popularity and unpopularity, which I think is really, really cool. Celeste also joined the artist collective, which actually only has a buff in the painting skill. I kind of wish it had a buff in like most creative causes, like for example, musical instruments, because obviously that's what Celeste is into. And then we have Jules, who is a Simfluencer, but definitely I feel cares about being popular. So I'm actually gonna change their popularity and also managed to reach the cool llamas social group. So very exciting. Jules isn't popular, but isn't unpopular. The majority of Sims go through high school somewhere in the middle, neutral, and Jules joins their ranks. And then for the cool llamas, they are the top social group. They are made up of all the Sims you know who are, well, cool. And if you have to ask who they are, you clearly don't pay enough attention. Celeste also has that for the Artist Collective, is a social group made up of artistically minded sims who enjoy above all else the creative process and dramatic outlets. But if we actually hold down shift and then click on Jules, you actually get the dynamic teen life cheats. So let's check these out. You can reset them all at random if you basically want to re-roll the dice on this, but usually it's probably going to turn out the same because it's like dependent on your sim skills and things like that. You can also choose your dating permission. So if you don't want to like ask your parents and you just like from the get-go want to tell that story, those options are open to you. We're actually going to choose the popularity affinity because I want them to care. This sim cares about being popular. And then what I'm also going to do is increase their popularity status. So they are now popular. Other sims will know this about them and it may or may not affect how others view them. Respond to invitations, conversations, or requests. Oh, I think this is actually the mod working with me, like, randomly here. Savannah's just called up Celeste and said, hey, I didn't have any plans tonight, and if you didn't either, why don't you come over and we'll have a sleepover? So we are gonna say okay. Celeste has accepted the invite, but now needs to find a way there. She could ask for permission or try to leave and hope no one catches her. We're actually gonna uh, ask for permission. So let's ask for permission to go out with friends. Please, Naomi, let me go. No, I think you should stay home tonight. Maybe next time. All right. Well, considering we didn't have any luck with that, how about we ask for permission to date, which actually came up with this mod once again. Naomi, please. Naomi's like, I don't even want to hear it. I'm checking in my DMs. Dating is an important part of any teen's social life. Of course I want you to date and get to know yourself. I trust you to make good choices. Oh my word. This is what we like to call character growth. Oh no. 
Jules can tease Celeste about being yeah, unpopular. She's not even unpopular. She's just less popular than you. And what do you expect? She doesn't have like a um, social media presence. She is the millennial mindset in a sea of Gen Zers. Oh, at least Jules feels uncomfortable about teasing her. Oh, remind me, why am I talking to you again? And they both now have a festering grudge to one another. Considering our sister got turned down for sneaking out, if you come to entertainment, you can see teen activities and we can choose who we actually want to go off with. These are the activities that basically send you off lot. We're actually gonna go with Jeb, who we have been flirting with like a little bit. College fair, date, debate club, experiment with friends, group date, hang out at the mall, hook up, life skills class, prom, school newspaper, or shot class. We're gonna go on an experiment with friends. Can be risky and hopefully you don't get caught. I mean, come on, we're wearing the leather jacket. Of course we're gonna go out and experiment. But whilst they are doing Doing that, if we also head to Celeste and we go to the work panel, obviously you traditionally join an after school activity just by hitting join after school activity. However, now that I have this mod installed, it says to join a team, teen sims must first try out and be invited to join. But here you can see them all. So adventure club, arts and craft, cheer team, chess team, computer team. So this still even works with the official teams that we got in high school years. It also works with drama club if you have get famous, I genuinely think that Celeste would do a mock trial team member. Join the high school mock trial team. Put your logic, charisma, and research and debate skills to the test by joining this activity and meeting teammates that you can enhance your skills with. Participate in weekly mock trials against area high schools. Argue and defend your way up to captain. But of course, we have to try out. So let's go back to her phone, back to business, and then after school activities. So not join after school activities, but just after school activities is what you need to go to. Oh man, only ones are certain available at certain times. So these ones can only be between 3 and 7 p.m. like after school. However, some of them are actually open. Why don't we go for start campaign for student council? Celeste has declared the intention to run for a seat on the student council. She must secure votes from her fellow students by canvassing them in person. The more votes one has the more likely to be elected. Election results can be retrieved on the phone under the business menu after securing at least one vote. And then obviously once you've passed like the tryout for the clubs and if you manage to succeed, your sim will get accepted into the after school activity and they basically just work like all the others. So they will in fact just be a rabbit hole. I was kind of expecting like band to be included. I know I'm probably like a little bit biased considering my sim is obviously very musically talented Talented, but I do feel like there's always like options to like add more activities. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We do have a little journal and obviously with this mod installed, there are loads more choices. You can complain about everyone and everything, complain about teachers in school, sort out your feelings, write gossip about others, write mean things about someone. You could have your own personal burn book if you wanted to. Nice things about friends and family, negative summary of the day, a positive summary of the day. Goals and hopes, wants and fears. The default was just write in journals. So the fact that this adds so many different ones is incredible. So we're gonna have Celeste actually sort out her feelings from today. And we did get a little moodlet from that. The pen hitting the pad really helps Celeste relive her emotions and get it all out. And then finally, if journaling doesn't help your sims, if you actually go down to the social tab, you can attend the teen support group. I'm assuming that if your teen is actually like facing even more extreme emotions, like if they are like extremely sad within the game, you probably get the other options. Ooh, here we go. Jules just got back. Jules isn't sure how they feel about all this experimenting. So they're actually embarrassed from their experimental uncertainty. So there we have it. There is the breakdown of Dynamic Teen Life Mod by Deep Indigo. Like I said, I will link this down below in case you wanna get your hands 
on it. I will say the rumors and gossip system wasn't working for me. Like I just kept trying to do it. And even though I had like two Sims in my household and tried to have them do the interactions, it just like wasn't actually doing anything. And I didn't even see the option to spread a rumor about someone. I tried the spread a nasty rumor, which is in the mean or mischief interactions, but that also didn't work. However, that might be on me. I might have been doing it wrong. I just can't really think of a reason why that wouldn't have been working. Honestly, there's some elements that I still do feel like need tweaking. There's definitely like more clubs that I would add. I'm really impressed with the social group. So like I said, I feel like that was the biggest part sort of missing for me when it came to high school years. I'm so glad that that's there now. I would absolutely love to hear your favorite part of this mod, what you maybe would want to see more of when it comes to this mod. Thank you all so much for tuning in and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.